my name is Zuma from Jeva. Um, it's been a while since we made a scripting tutorial, and I think it's because I got sick and uh, doing another 100 sub special. Thank you guys for that, and uh, let's get right into it. So, today we're going to be doing uh, server events and chat arguments. Um, so, yeah, we'll be making a little announce command. So, if you do like slash announce and then your little message, it'll be popping up on everyone's screens, not just the client's screen. So, I'm going to open up my server folder. By the way, the code is here. Uh, you're probably going to need it because in the resource.lua, um, there is a part where we need the resource manifest version so we could use other natives. I think uh, you might not even need it, but you know, it's better to be safe. So, let's create a new resource. Um, I'm going to call it announce. And then in here, uh, we're going to be creating this structure. So let's do uh, underscore resource dot Lua. We're going to need a server script. First time we use that, guys. Server dot Lua. And then we're also going to need a client dot Lua. I should have probably called it announce C dot Lua and announce S, but uh, that's just me being lazy. And also, let's do this. Just copy the resource manifest. I'm gonna move that back. All right, so um, I have that there, and now we're gonna need to access both these uh, scripts here. So let's do client underscore script of uh, client dot uh, and then uh, server dot underscore script. Um, sorry, someone's DMing me. Uh, server, server script of the server. Okay, so once we did that, uh, we're gonna go to the client.lua and do the client. Actually, you know what? Let's do the server Lua. So the server Lua, it's you're not really gonna have that many, uh, that much stuff going on. It's just gonna be a lot of reg register uh, server events and. Mm, excuse me uh, event handlers so um, for this one we're just gonna have those two in it uh, so first to actually make an event we're going or make a little server event we gotta do register uh, server event and then in quotes we can type in events so then under here we're gonna do type in add event handler and then we're gonna have announce and then this is going to carry over a function as a callback and not callback but uh, it's going to use a function let's end that too because when we pass it through this parameter is going to have the text we need to um, actually output um, what you want to say as the uh, announcement content so let me have a print function here Basically, that's going to print, since this is a server.lua, it's going to print into our little console whenever we run the server. So if someone announces, it'll put it in, it'll log it into our uh, server console. So I'm going to have that blank for now, and I'm going to show you the code where it actually triggers it to everyone. So trigger client uh, event, and uh, it's going to be a chat message is the first parameter. And then uh, this is, the second one's gonna be a minus one to access everyone. I think that's what that means. And then um, I like to do, I like to add colors. And as you can see in the GitHub code, I do add colors. So um, uh, basically, right here is um, if you were to do uh, carrot uh, one, and then you know carrot two, and you know keep going up. Those are different colors. So one is I think red. I don't remember. Two is green. You have to play around with it, but I have it already done for testing. So I do care seven, which is white, I think, and then uh, I say like I'm out here. I'm, I'm just gonna do that later. So I'm gonna type in um, announcement as a little prefix for when the instead of saying the name, it's just gonna say announcement. You could probably make it say the name if you wanted to using get player source something like that and then in here I like to use one as so it makes the announcement color that and then back here we make the seven to make this bracket white and then uh, two to keep uh, any other code I think that'll make it uh, red but I don't think it does I don't think that matters 
so uh, that should do that and then we gotta have the RGB values in table <coughs> excuse me so I'm just gonna do white this is where you can actually change the color my bad um, this is RGB so it should be easy and then uh, we could type in param because we're, we're passing through this um, sorry we're passing this uh, through the um, function and let's also set this up so I'm gonna copy because you can I'm pretty sure in the server build that I used uh, you can use uh, colors so uh, yeah so it'll have like that and then uh, we're gonna join the string to our uh, also gonna have a semicolon here and then uh, for some reason I use five uh, I think that's teal and then uh, red so it's gonna pass that through and log it out with the following stuff so you'll see what we do with the param function so in the client.lua what we're gonna to want to do is start off with the register command because uh, we're gonna do slash announce register command uh, announce and then uh, this is gonna have a function of a source which is you and then args which is the arguments that you use in the command so I'm gonna do end and then we're going to to actually use basically this code right here the announce we're going to need to do trigger server event and then it'll be announced because we registered it as announce and then we're going to so basically the args this when you pass that through the function the args gets outputted in like a table so if I were to say in game uh, slash announce uh, if I were to do slash announce, hey guys, it's me. Uh, this part will be the args, but um, it won't output like that. It'll, it'll output like something like this. It'll have commas between it because basically what it's doing is be it's being outputted in a little uh, table. So it'll be outputted like that. So we're going to have to concatenate that table. So in order to do that, it's basically just going to join the strings, but every time uh, there's a space or every time there's a comma, we're going to add a space there. To actually do that, we're going to do table, because we're accessing the table and concat concatenate, which basically means join the table, and then we're going to concatenate args because it's basically this being outputted, and then we're also going to, this is going to accept the second parameter and it will put a space there. So basically, That'll put a space um, between everything. So basically, if I were to just do, if I were to get rid of that, and it'll be like, uh, it'll be like, hey guys, it's me. It'll just have no spaces, as you can see from like right here. That that's what it'll output to. But um, if we were to um, keep that, it'll space it out like it's normal. So that basically is uh, that. Um, I don't think there's much that we could do so I'll see you guys in server to see this work hopefully I didn't make any issues and uh, yeah once again I forgot to um, add it to our resources.cfg you guys should know the whole spiel about that so I'm, I'm actually I'm gonna stop doing that uh, just so we can save more time but you guys can see that every time you want to use our resource we're gonna add it to our resources.cfg so we have start announce and now I will actually see you in the server. Alright guys, so I've been in the server and I've already tested it just to see if it works and it does as you can see up there. That's what the color does, the white bracket. And you should also see that it did output it into here. I'll do slash test or slash announce. Um hey guys, it's me. So it has it all spaced out and you can see uh, yeah, you can see that it says, hey guys, it's me from there. Um, I'm getting killed by, oh, I just died. Okay, that was really uh, eventful there. But as you can see, it, it outputs it through there, so it's a server. If you were to just print it through the client side, uh, through here, it would print into your con in your in-game console. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, if, you, if you actually enjoyed it or found it helpful, um, make sure to just like, please share it with your friends, it really helps us out, it makes us grow faster, and uh, also uh, 1,000 subs in 3 months, if we can get to that, uh, Wesley, the co-founder, 
Garner will uh, he'll, he'll shave his head. So yeah, let's, let's do that. So yeah, that that works. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, yeah, peace out, guys.